Okay, the tools you require for today are a 10 mil spanner or a 10 mil socket and ratchet, pointy nose pliers, a flat blade screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, and the Honda Carby service kit, which you can get from our website, which is www.melbpower.com.au. Before starting this procedure, please ensure the engine switch is in the off position. And we will start off with removing the air filter. And don't forget the little rubber gasket that sits under the air filter. Okay, we will now remove the air filter elbow with your 10 mil spanner or socket. And with the fuel in the off position and the choke in the on position, you'll now be able to slide that off. Okay, we now pull the choke lever off and this little part here will be used to block the fuel line. So just pop that one aside, grab your pointy nose pliers, squeeze the clamp and lift the clamp up on the fuel line and then push the fuel line up and off and you can then squeeze the fuel line and pop it on that little fuel block on the choke shaft. Very handy little tip. Okay, next we pull off the light governor spring with your pointy nose pliers. Just being very careful not to bend that spring. The governor rod just lifts up and out and then the carby just slides off. Right, on to the next step. Okay, the first step is to remove the sediment bowl with a 10 mil socket or spanner. There's a little filter in there, which just pulls out with the O-ring. Exactly like that. Okay, the next step is to remove the two Phillips head screws on the top of the fuel tap. Take the top plate off. The washer, the actual fuel tap itself. And then a little rubber washer inside. That's it for that bit. Next we want to remove the drain screw. And the little gasket underneath. and the screw that holds the bowl onto the bottom of the carby. Also with its little gasket. And that is the bowl on the bottom of the carby. Okay, the rubber o-ring that goes around the bottom of the bowl. You can just use your screwdriver to pry that one out. Just like that. And now your little float, push the pin through, that little pin will pull through. And your float and your needle will pull out as one. Rightio. Okay, the next part is to remove the jets inside the carby. So you get a flat blade screwdriver with a smaller head on it, so it fits down inside the chamber. And undo the brass jet. Now very careful because it is made out of brass, it is very soft, so it can be damaged quite easily. And that's your little jet there. There is also a smaller jet inside the tube there, which you can just push out. 
You can see it just right on the inside of the carby there. Just pop your screwdriver head on top of it and push it down. Gentle tap and it will come out. Rightio, next step, we'll take out the idle screw. And the idle jet. Just with a couple of pointy nose pliers, it will just pry out. Rightio, please note there is a little o-ring on the bottom of that jet. Just make sure that comes out with it as well. Rightio, so that's it. Your carby is apart. You can pull the choke out if you like, just with a pair of pliers. Grab that plate and pull it out. And then that shaft there will just pull straight out the top. Okay, the next step will be to get yourself some carby cleaner. The aerosol type is perfect. And just go right through all the little galleries, all through there, right through the little jets inside there inside the idle jet chamber, cleaning it all out, being nice and thorough throughout the whole carby. Also clean out your jets, make sure all these little venturi holes are all nice and clean. And same with the main jet there, make sure that tiny little hole in there, it was all nice and clean. And clean out the bottom of the bowl, make sure there's no sediment, no water, no gunk in the bottom of that. And also your sediment bowl, make sure there's nothing in the bottom of that either. And when that's all nice and clean, blow it with some air or let it sit out to dry and you're all ready to go to start rebuilding the carby. Okay, once the carby is all cleaned and ready to go, we can start rebuilding it. Now we have all our new O-rings and gaskets from our Honda carby kit. Okay, the first step is to pop the first jet into the center of the carby, which goes in that way. And just slide that straight down in the middle. And our main jet follows straight in there and then we do that one up just like that okay the next step is to pop the float and fuel needle back in just make sure the tip of that needle is nice and clean and that will slot straight in and get your float pin and pop that straight in like that make sure it's all nice and central Next, we pop the carby bowl o-ring on. Just like that. And then the bowl wanna sit straight back home. Just make sure that o-ring does sit around there nicely. And pop a new little fiber washer here. On the main bowl. And then we tension that one back up. And do the same with the little drain screw. New fiber washer from the kit. All the way home. Okay, next we'll do the sediment bowl. So just pop the little filter back in, just like that. And then the new little O-ring from the kit. Just give that a little push in with a screwdriver so it's your time. And then pop that sediment bowl back on. Righto, okay, we'll now do the fuel tap. So that little rubber washer goes in, and just sits down into place. The little fuel handle sits in. The spring washer sits on next and just sits over the little fuel handle. And then the little plate just sits on top. Two little Phillips head screws holds it all together. Let's pop the first one in without doing it up all the way. And pop the second one in, that makes life a lot easier. And now you can do them both down. Right, that's the fuel handle done. Okay, the idle jet. That little rubber O-ring. So if you can grab it and pull that old O-ring off. 
the new one that comes in the kit. Just slide that one on. And then just pop that jet straight back in. Pop the idle screw back in. Just till it hits the little throttle there. So you can then adjust the idle later. Perfect. That's it, your carb is together. Let's throw it back on the engine. Okay, we'll now refit the carby to the engine. Just make sure that the intake gasket is in good condition. Okay, slide that one back on the two studs. And the first step is to slip that little governor rod in. Just like that, perfect. And then that little link spring straight back into the hole there. Tip, and now you can push that on a bit further. Okay, next we clamp the fuel line so no fuel leaks. Throw that fuel line back on your carby and then reposition the clamp. Perfect. The choke lever sits right back on top just like that. Okay, we now refit that gasket. and the air filter elbow. And just ensure that the breather pipe goes back into the rocker cover if that was removed in the process. Okay, we can now put the one bolt in the top and the two nuts on the front. And do those ones up. Next goes your little rubber washer. Your air filter. Your air filter wing nut. Air filter cover. And the cover wing nut. That's it, you're all ready to go.